Well, good morning. I am coming to you from a Monday morning starting off my week of work. And while I was out on my walk this morning, I realized that this week is going to be so hectic and I have been wanting to film how I balance my two businesses, which is the Binding and the Essentials Club, and then how I have a life in there and just get general things done in between. Most of the time I am probably just in my active wear that I've gone for a walk in the morning and looking like this oily mess. So. I'm just gonna embrace that. Obviously for me, every week is completely different. Like this week, I have a lot of content creation for a client. I've got some web designs, logo designs. Probably need to edit a tutorial for the Essentials Club and maybe film a new one, along with catching up with friends, making time for my partner, cooking, cleaning, having a life in between there. So this week is gonna be the week that I take you along the journey of everything that I get done. Today, the first half of the day is going to be a lot of graphic design and glued to the screen. The second half of the day, I'm gonna be going out and shooting the content. And then tomorrow, I'll probably have a massive admin and design day again. Wednesday, I'm ideally gonna clear of all design stuff and dedicate for the Essentials Club, which is my tutorial blog Thursday then I will probably continue editing that film as well as balancing it out with doing some graphic design work in between there and then Friday will be a dedicated design day. just getting on the last final props and putting together a bit of a plan for the shoot this afternoon. Prioritize what I can get done realistically before I'm out for the rest of the day, which is just a few emails, a bit of catch ups on some graphic work that I can quickly turn around in the time and then just rescheduling stuff for tomorrow. But essentially I'm gonna be here for another 15 minutes or so and then I'm gonna start filling up the van and then get stuck into the content creation. out for a morning walk with the dog and then I'm just gonna go clean up the mess that I left behind in my office from just dumping everything in there when I got home. I'm gonna have a very big day glued to the screen and I feel like I need to balance that out so I've organized a little catch up with the friends because I feel like that'll make me feel like I have interacted with someone rather than just staring at a screen all day. so lost in the zone of just capturing the content and trying to direct Renee who I was working with for the modeling side of things and just like going from various locations and then setting them up and then shooting it. I was just so wrecked when I got home and it just didn't feel right to jump on behind the camera because whatever I would have said would have just probably been a slur of stuff that didn't make sense and then also I could have probably sat down behind the screen and done some work but Again, the work that I would have done would not have been anything that would have been worthwhile doing and I probably would have had to redo it today. So that's what I've been learning over the past few years as well, is just to actually listen to my body and note that like if I am feeling run down or the work that I'm producing isn't the best to actually take a break and not feel guilty about it because there's no point pushing through with the work that you're going to create isn't worthwhile. Obviously when there's deadlines and things like that, of course I need to prioritise getting the work done, but just being aware of how I feel and if I can shape my work day around that. I'll pretty much just be here for the rest of the day now, um, prioritising getting a website design done and through to a client and then catching up on emails, getting some logo revisions done. I've got two main clients that I need to do that for, um, some onboarding of a new client, 
quoting people, following up on invoices, just a big screen day of just doing a lot of different things. My heart is rescheduled so I ended up just doing a bit of work again in the meantime when I was meant to be doing that and then finally we did that call just a little bit later in the afternoon which is really good so I've done some concepts for her website and this is another client that I'm doing the website design today and she's kind of taking it all in a new direction so the call was just all about going over the new details of her new branding and just talking about the strategy behind it so that was really good just to nut out that together and then it just gets to this time in the afternoon where Rusko that's my dog's name, can't sit still any longer. So he started throwing around his toy and then we went for a little afternoon walk. It's so nice having a dog because it reminds you that you need to take breaks and you have to get away from the screen. And those little walks are always good little rejuvenation processes. Sometimes if I get sick of sitting in that room, I come out here and sit and enjoy the afternoon sun. But because I started a little bit later today, I'll probably work a little bit later. Dust doesn't finish work until six. So that's Tuesday all wrapped up. It kind of, as you saw, it didn't, you know, perfectly go to plan. Things got thrown around, so I had to be a bit more flexible, and that's what I just expect nowadays. Like, I can have a perfectly planned day, and I guarantee it will not go to plan. So I'm more into just having rough ideas of what I want to get done, and then having space within my week so that overflow can go into the next day as well. get up early as well and the sun isn't rising until about 6 30 at the moment so if we get up at 5 a.m then i've still got like an hour and a half until the sun rises so i normally just like have a coffee and then do a bit of emailing or work or little things that i can just prepare myself for the day on the computer and then once there's some sign of light coming through i go and do a nice big walk i've just been playing around with what i'm going to do today but i think i've decided that i'm going to dedicate most of today to filming a tutorial so that way i wash my hair it's nice and clean for that and then I'll do some graphic work around that and then I'm gonna go pick up my little cousin from school this afternoon so I need to finish at 2 p.m. so I started earlier but I will be finishing earlier as well so that all balances out in the end time to fuel up clean up and then get stuck into my day Once I go then have a shower and then probably get ready, that's when I'm going to transition into my essentials club part of the day, which is when I then go set up the scene where I shoot my tutorial, make myself look presentable for the camera, and then literally just run a chaotic scene where I'm trying to press record and talk my way through a tutorial and sew something that turns out okay. And then you can see also the crazy mess of a scene that I set up to help make it nice and soundproof. It's going to be, I feel like, quite a chaotic day in a way where I'm going to be like running from here, getting ready, setting that up, then going to pick up my cousin and then doing something else. But that is just the reality where I need to be wearing multiple hats today and jumping into each of them and just being ready and embracing it. Initially the Essentials Club was just kind of fit it in wherever possible whereas now I have learnt I need to actually put aside time for it to actually get done. Hopefully by the end of the year I think it'll be evenly split where I'll be earning even from the Essentials Club and the binding so it'll be interesting once I get to that point then how I start to delegate my time to each. Right, a couple of hours of work and then it is time to jump into tutorial mode. So this is pretty much the frame that you end up seeing in the tutorials. I like leaving everything last minute and I've still got one final scene to do and then I'll be done there so time to go out and about for a little bit.
to another beautiful day. Of course, the day that I don't get up for a sunrise, it was like the most epic one. The sky lit up and it was all pink and I watched it from our veranda, but it's just not the same when you're like on the beach or out walking. Last night, Darcy and I ended up going out and walking into town and having a little dinner. I had a big invoice finally get paid this week so I guess that was a little bit of a celebratory outing and plus it was midweek and we couldn't be bothered cooking and the pizza there is amazing so today is going to be a wild but balanced one at the same time first up I'm going to send off some invoices for three different clients and then I've got three final logos that have been approved so I need to package them all up in the different files send them like a bit of the design overview so that'll be majority of my morning and then I'm going to go when the lighting's changed a bit out there film that final scene I filmed most of it so it's just going to be a close-up scene of like the final sewing and assembly of it and some steps that I can just do voiceovers of so I can look like this and just jump in there and use my hands so that's handy <laughs> then around lunchtime I'm gonna go for a swim after I visit my friend so that's my little lunch break getting out and about and having a little interaction for the day and then I've got a call with someone about doing some work about opt optimizing their Pinterest account and getting that all sorted for them like creating templates and then just helping refine their account so it's more discoverable if you want tips around that you can see my Pinterest video and in the afternoon this like direct sunlight comes into our living room so I'll set up some flat lay scenes and do the sunglasses and some styled minimal vibes there and then I have booked in yoga come home make some dinner and then I'm going to do some final edits on the photo and I feel like that's not a highly stressful job so I can literally just like lay in bed and still be zen out from yoga and then get that done and that will be me for the day so it's a lot to get done and I need to stay on task I feel like I've learned over the years that I need to book those types of things in like catch up with friends going to yoga things that get me out of the house and interacting with people because also like I work from home alone it's good to get that interaction but then it also gives me a deadline to finish stuff because if I know I need to get out of the house therefore I'm like oh I really need to get that done before I go whereas if I'm just sitting at home all day long I'm like oh I can get that done later or I've got all the time when actually I don't and then I just am hectically busy in the afternoon so it's just little tactics that I've picked up along the way over the few years knowing what I need to do to hold me accountable and give me drive to get stuff done so that is my little tip time to get into it and then I'll show you how it all turns out once I've finished a logo I will save final logo in the various formats so say it fits a logo type and an icon feature I will then package that up as one full visual the both of them together and then separate as well so the icon on its own and then logo type on its own then any other brand assets that might come out of the logo have them ready in print format and web format and then also generally in black and white and if there's any brand colors and then also save some social media display pictures whatever they're using they can just upload it to use as their display picture for that as that normally involves having a bit more space around there so it looks nice and then I create a document where I capture all the logo details this is just a simple overview of the logo the fonts the colors and the file types just all in one simple area so that they can easily access that there are some brands that I do a full detailed brand style guide it's pretty much just a brand bible for the business anytime they need to create branded collateral they can just reference to that to make sure that they are doing the right thing it's not something that I include in every logo package as that does end up like kind of doubling the price and I understand that's not a necessity for everyone but it definitely does help if they're serious about keeping the consistency of the brand I'm just doing the final social media templates here and then I will send that all through with the final invoice and I'm done with that project for now. I think I'm gonna feel really accomplished this morning once I've finished these three logo packages. and feeling all fresh I had a quick little shower just to get unsalted unsalted and put on my active wear so when I go for a walk and go to yoga all I have to do is just jump back on the bike and get out there <laughs> yeah I'm gonna jump on the call now and then I don't even know I need to look at my to-do list but I just wanted to say one thing 
And one of the reasons I really wanted to film this week was because yes, I get a lot of stuff done, but also there's a lot of stuff that goes wrong in that process. And I'm more than happy to admit that I'm not perfect and that I'm a work in progress. And just to show you that the reality is not a streamlined process where everything just perfectly falls into its slot. And I actually feel so refreshed. I'm glad I got in the ocean. I'm glad I spent that time with my friend and I feel like I'm almost starting my day again. And it's just only like halfway through. So now I know I can sit down and actually feel inspired and put out some good work rather than just like forcing myself to sit here all day and feeling uninspired and probably not doing my best work. I feel like I'm going for a very easy time. <laughs> time for a little sunset walk. And you just had one of those epic showers where you just like wash your hair, shave your legs, just cleanse your life away and now I'm ready and excited to jump into my Friday. I got up this morning I didn't think I was gonna go for a big walk but then it was like one of those beautiful winter days and it was actually clear for the summer so I went and walked down with Fresco, we went along the beach, saw so many whales and watched the sunrise and then came home and made a coffee and Darce made some brekkie it's his day off today, so he is lingering around and being my distraction for the day, which is fine. It's nice to have the company, but I just need to learn to stay on task and not let him distract me. <laughs> I've also actually put some effort into my outfit today. When my hair dries, I can wear my new bucket hat and be an ultimate dork. It's Friday, and why not put a little bit of effort into your outfit? This is a shirt that I made, and this is a pre-loved Tommy Hilfiger jumpsuit. And then I also want to get a picture or some footage of this later as well so might as well be ready if there's an opportunity later Fridays for me are always just a little mishmash of whatever is left over from the week along with just things that I would like to get done before the weekend and I feel like today I'm going to prioritize getting the client work done obviously it's the end of the week I'd like to get that through to them and I feel like this weekend I'm probably gonna have to set aside some time to get the essentials editing of the videos and promo stuff done so that's fine i think it's actually meant to be an overcast saturday so i'll probably be hanging around home anyway so might as well utilize that time to get some work done and setting up some work for next week as well so i've taken on some new work this week and scheduled that in for next week and then also the things that i didn't get to this week will probably go into next week but i feel like most of it i'll be able to get done today so all good. Essentially, I'm going to sit here for the day at the screen getting that to-do list ticked off. It's been a massive week and it's just Friday afternoon and I think it's all hitting me. One of the things I had to get done today was a postcard design and it honestly just took me so much longer than it should have. Yeah, you know, when you're working on creative stuff, it's about putting your unique perspective on it and adding your own spin and having that, you know, creative flair to push it and explore ideas. And when you're not in a headspace that is encouraging for that creativity, it's just a lot harder than it should be. Like that probably should have taken me half the time that it did but I ended up finishing it and I feel accomplished for that. Das and I are both feeling very mellow and we originally had an idea of you know going and driving somewhere and setting up at the back of the van to watch the sunset and maybe have a tea or a beer or whatever we felt like but the weather's not really encouraging to do that we're both not really in the mood to do that so we are going to listen to that and take the opportunity just to hang out around home for the evening. I hope you've enjoyed this little overview of my week and the chaos and fun that goes on balancing out doing my essentials card stuff and the binding stuff. If there's anything that stood out in particular that you want to know more about just let me know or if you like this type of style stuff I'm happy to do like a weekly behind the scenes every now and then. 
it's nice to actually stop for once and look back rather than just keep looking forward and not actually taking in what has been done and where you are quite a productive and balanced week not every week is like this one of the biggest things that drove me to doing this is that i feel like everyone i know that owns a business is just figuring it out as they go and it's just easier to capture those good times and those final moments and sometimes we don't realize looking at someone else's business that there is so much more that goes on behind the scenes so hopefully this was a little peek into that and a realization that there is a lot of hard work determination and accountability and self-discipline that, that we all need to get through these types of things and we're all just figuring it out as we go nobody's perfect i love what i do and i love the freedom that comes with it i love the creativity and the people and the opportunities and i'm very very thankful and grateful for what i have created and i'm very excited for what is to come i've got a lot of things up my sleeve but I'm also only one woman behind all of this and I need to learn that and honor that because I think we can set so many unrealistic expectations on ourselves and then that just constantly leaves us feeling down the dumps that we haven't done enough but at the end of the day we still have done so so much and we should be incredibly proud of that so I am on a journey of learning to do that time to do some final bits of work and then go enjoy my weekend thank you so much for tuning in